Unbelievable. APC chairman in serious trouble as NWC members cry out. APC now in crisis. We have become redundant. Adamu is a dictator. He, because of his dictatorship, this party is in serious crisis. This is what he's planning for the presidential candidates. Now they are the very people who are, you know, exposing themselves, APC turn on themselves. So this is exactly what is happening right now. APC chairman can see for himself that, you know, those things he thought uh, he could just do because Buhari invested that power in him. So he has become, uh, you know, a supreme voice himself. Nobody can talk, you know, it just, you know, that person who is just there, refused to speak, refused to say anything, all of a sudden, you know, he has begun to, you know, speak out. The people are speaking out that this is what the man is planning. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. The crisis of leadership in the ruling of Progressive Congress APC assumed another dimension on Tuesday following the allegations by members of the, se uh, the uh, members of the Senator Abdurrahim Adamu led National Working Committee, NWC, accusing him of dictatorship, noting that Adamu now runs the NWC as a one-man show. They added that where he does, where, where he does or, or nobody sees or know which way things are going. He invoked the name of President Muhammad Buhari to get the NWC in line. This is what Adamu is doing. He threatens everybody and tells them he's the one in charge. They said why Adamu is free to make cons consultative matters with stakeholders. He must, however, subject the outcome of such delegations to deliberations by the NWC rather than his current predicament of adopting such as a view of the position of the NWC. Two members of the NWC, Shehu Mohammed Lukman, who is the National Vice Chairman, Northwest, and Israel, and Isaac Kekemike, National Vice Chairman, Southwest, made allegations in a memo sent to elder NWC members on Tuesday in Abuja. Adamu Media Aid did not immediately respond to Vanguard inquiries on the matter. This is ongoing, as he said, he's planning to pick even the APC presidential candidates, all solely without making due and adequate consultation. We are convinced beyond doubt that this is the deliberate attempt to foster a, for a false accommodation on the NWC and say this is our position on fundamental issues that affect our great party. He stated clearly that we are not with him is working as a one-man show. Lukman had in the in the end of the week written a letter to Senator Adamu and copied some stakeholders of the party, accusing the party chairman of not learning from the mistake of Adam Sushomole and running the party as a one-man show. They accused him of wanting to impose a candidate, desperately looking for a way to bring in a consensual candidate, which Tinubu has rejected and has told them it will never happen. So this is exactly what is going on right now. APC as a party, there is a lot going on in that regard. Uh, lots of persons are coming out now. You know, the party, APC turns on itself. APC has turned on itself. And um, they are accusing the chairman of, you know, of, uh, you know, misconduct over the party affair. Okay, this man, they said, is running it as a one-man show. He's not taking anybody along. But Tinubu has told them that he's not going to stand there and they, and they will have a consensual candidate. He's not going to sign that form. Everyone, because he has bought the form, every one of them will have to go through the primaries. Now, the party leadership, the other vice chairmen are coming up to say that Adamu, this is what Adamu is doing. He's running the party all by himself. He's running the party all by himself. He's doing everything, you know, running the show all by himself. And this is exactly the new steps. And the APC crisis is really big. 
you know, Adamo has been accused of some of these activities that he has been working like someone, you know, working as a single unit rather than collectively, rather than working as a people's person. So this is what is going on and then the, the people are not happy. Uh, there's another serious accusation against him that this very man is actually planning, you know, to bring in a consensual candidate that suits him. Don't forget that the very person of uh, the former minister of uh, transportation also tried to, you know, put some money in there. You know, uh, some Ghana must go. We have come, we are flying all around, you know. So these are some of the things that are going on right now. You know, these are some of the things that are going on. This guy has been seriously accused. Well, my wonderful people, you cannot begin to imagine, you know, what exactly is going on and why we all must, you know, speak out against all the wrong things happening in this country right now. It is, you know, it's high time we all stand up for what is right. It's high time we all stand up for what, you know, could potentially bring us, you know, a change in this nation and give us the best government. Humanly speaking, you know, the best that we can, that we can come up with, we need to work at it because it's about time. It's about time that we get the best out of what is happening right now. Well, my wonderful people, it is what it is and the time to advance and make that real difference is now. Okay, it is time for us to make that real difference. Well, my wonderful people, uh, we need to we need to begin to reconsider, you know, uh, the choices that we are making. APC, PDP, who could potentially, you know, every other party. We have Peter Obi there from LP. We have other politicians from other parties who have good records, you know, who have not soiled their hands in corruption and the rest. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now. In the APC crisis is really big. You know, Adamo has been accused of some of these activities that he has been working like someone, you know, working as a single unit rather than collectively, rather than working as a people's person. So this is what is going on and um, the, the people are not happy. Uh, there's another serious accusation against him that this very man is actually planning, you know, to bring in a consensual candidate that suits him. Don't forget that the very person of uh, the former minister of uh, transportation also tried to, you know, put some money in there. You know, uh, some Ghana must go. We have come, we are flying all around, you know. So these are some of the things that are going on right now. You know, these are some of the things that are going on. This guy has been seriously accused. Well, my wonderful people, you cannot begin to imagine, you know, what exactly is going on and why we all must, you know, speak out against all the wrong things happening in this country right now. It is, you know, it's high time we all stand up for what is right. It's high time we all stand up for what, you know, could potentially bring us, you know, a change in this nation and give us the best government. Humanly speaking, you know, the best that we can, that we can come up with, we need to work at it because it's about time. It's about time that we get the best out of what is happening right now. Well, my wonderful people, it is what it is and the time to advance and make that real difference is now. Okay, it is time for us to make that real difference. Well, my wonderful people, uh, we, need to, we need to begin to reconsider, you know, uh, the choices that we are making. APC, PDP, who could potentially, you know, every other party. We have Peter Obi there from LP. We have other politicians from other parties who have good records, you know, who have not soiled their hands in corruption and the rest. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now.